A night when America has a new definition of what it means to be married. The Supreme Court said resoundingly today federal law must change. There must be equality for same-sex couples who marry. And the implications are sweeping. Outside the courtroom jubilation, some overcome with tears, many filled with joy, knowing that the court had instantly created a different future. And ABC's Terry Moran was right there for this landmark ruling, same-sex marriage in America, and he leads us off now. Terry. Diane, you're right. What an extraordinary day it was here. Uncertainty and anxiety before the decision came down. And when this ruling was handed down, it was like a dam burst emotionally here and across the country. It was a day this court changed not only American law, but American life. The moment of victory. The two gay couples who brought the case from California and their lawyers emerging into a different America. Across the country, jubilation among supporters of same-sex marriage. A champagne toast in New York, tears and hugs in San Francisco. And Edie Windsor, 84 years old, who brought the case seeking to overturn the federal law that denied the validity of her marriage, declared victory. We won everything we asked and hoped for. Wow. The court, in a 5-4 to four opinion by Justice Anthony Kennedy, struck down the Defense of Marriage Act, which defined marriage under federal law as the union of one man and one woman, and thus denied legally married gay couples equal treatment under federal law. And that is unconstitutional, Kennedy wrote, because it demeans the couple, humiliates tens of thousands of children now being raised by gay couples, serves no legitimate purpose, and violates the Constitution's guarantee of equality. In California, ABC's Cecilia Vega talked with the Dumaine Vickers family who say they always felt a little different, but not anymore. What it means for us legally is that the marriage license that I got in 2008 in California now has, holds the same value as the marriage license of every other person on my block. What does that do for your moms? It's really exciting because now it's equal and Everything is all done and we don't need to worry about From Social Security and veterans' benefits to family leave and income and estate taxes, their lives are now equal in countless ways under the law to straight couples' lives. But Kennedy's grand opinion drew a blistering dissent from Justice Antonin Scalia, who called today's ruling jaw-dropping and accused Kennedy and the liberal justices of declaring anyone opposed to same-sex marriage an enemy of human decency. Millions of Americans who cherish traditional marriage will agree. It's a sad day when unelected judges uh, change the definition of marriage and, and, and turn their backs on the will of voters. But the court stopped short of declaring that every state must allow gay marriage, sending the challenge to California's Proposition 8, which banned gay marriage, back to the lower courts on technical grounds, effectively legalizing gay marriage in California. So the couples that brought say, the case... Will you please marry me? ...will wed. We could not have imagined we would have to go on this journey to get married. I'm proud to be here, and I'm just thrilled that I actually get to marry the woman that I love. <laughs> it was a day many supporters of gay marriage rights believed would never come. Outside the court, the gay men's chorus of Washington, D.C. lifted their voices in pride, singing our national anthem. And the rock is Uh, Terry, it's great to have your reporting on the Supreme Court. And you've been covering this court. You've been watching their rulings for some 20 years. Give us a sense tonight of the big picture. How will the arc of history see this day? It was history, Diane, as we've been saying, and not just because what this court did was extraordinary. Whenever it strikes down an act of Congress, that's rare. It not only struck down the Defense of Marriage Act and effectively legalized gay marriage in, in, in California, it's the language in this opinion. As you pointed out at the top, the court today broadened and deepened the meaning of equality in our Constitution, the central principle of American life. And that goes way beyond marriage. Justice Kennedy used the word dignity nine times in his opinion. And it's that basic human dignity that he said is shared by gay couples and straight couples that is now enshrined in American law. It's going to be very hard from today going forward to pass laws that discriminate against Americans on the basis of their sexual orientation. Uh, this is a law which applies, a decision which applies to specific laws, but those principles have far-reaching effects.
Terry Moran reporting in from the steps of the Supreme Court today.